it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and in this video I'll be looking at the A1 wet and dry robot vacuum from SmartMy. This vacuum is the first of its kind that effectively vacuums away both dry and wet debris whilst it is also able to self-clean the mop once at the end of its cleaning task. It features a full width brush roller, a separate clean water tank and a dirty water container, 4000 PA of suction power and it integrates with its own smartphone app which means it can also be commanded by your Google or Amazon Home Voice Assistant. In the box you get a plug-in adapter that's suited for the country you're in, a base plate for the docking station, a paper instruction manual and quick start guide, a happy panda face to stick onto the vacuum, a spare dust filter, a separate container lid for the dry cleaning, and a charging cable and EU wall plug. There's also the A1 vacuum itself and the charging dock to charge it. The SmartMy A1 is definitely the nicest looking robot design I've seen. It's mostly white in color with its LiDAR sensor up at the top, infrared sensors at the front, at the back and at the sides and underneath the vacuum. And it's very obvious that there's a full width sweeping brush at the front. Inside the top opening lid, you'll find a huge multifunction container that features a dust and dirty water container of 360 milliliters and a 600 milliliters clean water container. You can replace a section of this container with a dry functioning container, lid and filter if you don't wish to use the vacuum's mopping function. Underneath you'll find the usual floor detection sensors and its five individual moving wheels. You'll also notice underneath a big difference to more common robot vacuums in that the A1 doesn't have any side rotating bristle brushes. Instead, this vacuum comes with a wide 23.8 centimeter sweeping brush. That's not all that similar to a regular stick or stand up vacuum. The pre-installed multi-surface nylon and microfiber sweeping brush will spin up at 1600 RPM and can tackle most home floor surfaces, including small pile carpets or rugs, whilst its second, much softer sweeping brush is aimed at more delicate floors and surfaces. Its rather large charging base is where the A1 will dock and recharge itself, and whilst doing so, it will spin up its sweeping brush at a much faster 2000 RPM to air dry the brush after a clean so that it's ready for the next cleaning task. You're also prompted to empty any debris or dirty water. And at that time you can refill its water container so that the A1 can continue to clean efficiently the next time. Due to the charging dock's large size, I found it a challenge to find a discreet location for it to sit. Usually I have my vacuum's charging station placed underneath my four leg sofa, but this is the first vacuum dock I have reviewed that didn't fit behind or underneath my sofa. So for some of you in the same situation, the vacuum and dock may have to take a little more prominent and visible placement around your home. And it's a good thing that both the dock and the vacuum look quite good in their overall aesthetics. The dock's bulkier size is mostly due to the top opening compartment that houses the spare soft roller brush, a cleaning rod and a plastic comb to help remove or unclog any hair. Personally, I would have preferred a smaller dock and a much easier way to place it around my home. Connecting the A1 to my local network via the Xiaomi Home app was quick and easy. Having had a previous Xiaomi vacuum, I was already accustomed to its Home app. However, the A1 offers more functionality and this was also reflected in the app. With room mapping functionality, I was now able to edit generated maps, set no-go walls and zones to prevent the mop from mopping thick carpets to avoiding small pet food trays and bowls. I was also able to divide and separate what the vacuum thought were rooms as well as label them correctly. The app remains clear with plenty of ways to customize the vacuum to your liking from setting schedules, seeing how much life is left in the battery, and how much life is left in the various brushes, filters and sponges, to applying firmware updates, to viewing the vacuum's cleaning progress and live cleaning path, as well as viewing its past cleaning history so that you know where it has and hasn't cleaned. The SmartMy A1 robot vacuum will retail for $800.99, However, during its crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo, you can pick this up for as little as $439, which is a very good price considering the tech you're getting and the features it is offering you. As good as the features that the A1 packs, my time with the A1, though, hasn't all been a clean sweep. I found at first the A1 vacuum to be a little disappointing when comparing it to my tried and tested and two-year-old Xiaomi MyJar 1 vacuum. 
My first issue is the general size of the vacuum and its dock. The dock was just too bulky to hide it away discreetly under my furniture and I can only place it under my desk or in a very visible area of my home. That also is an area where people would be walking around it quite often. At just under 13 centimeters, the height of the vacuum also hindered how and where it could clean around my home compared to other vacuums that were much shorter. This could also be a common issue with LiDAR based vacuums as the sensor can add height to the overall vacuum. So particular areas such as underneath floor standing cupboards and beds to sweeping between around dining chairs and tables all became uncleanable zones for this A1 due to it being too high to pass underneath them or too wide enough to pass between chair legs and tables. The next issue I found was its general intelligence. During its first few cleans, I found its speed and tracking, calculating time and the cleaning pass it had decided to take weren't all as good as the Eufy X8 I reviewed last month. However, over time, this did improve greatly as it began to learn its way around my home. I noticed that its sensors seemed to struggle with full height wardrobe mirrors and that it would see the reflection and map those rooms as if they were a little bit bigger than they actually were which is something other vacuums didn't seem to struggle with. If you have the vacuum in a quiet environment, such as an office space, I found whilst the vacuum was docked, I could hear a constant humming noise coming from the vacuum, which continued to idle for some time after it had cleaned. Lifting the vacuum up to interrupt its charging cycle seemed to stop this noise of the fans that are running inside the A1, but it feels like the process of cooling the vacuum's processor doesn't end or time out whilst the vacuum is recharging. And hopefully that can be fixed with a software update. And finally, I found the path and route planning of the vacuum wasn't that much better than any LiDAR vacuums that I've tried before. It does do edge perimeter and fill cleaning, which I do prefer. However, at times the A1 can decide to do something totally left field, which makes you question any form of reasonable logic that it has and that it's possibly thrown it out the window. Luckily, this behavior is rare and the majority of the time the A1 navigates and cleans where I tell it to in the app whether it's a full house clean or cleaning a selected amount of rooms. No-go zones and walls work very well. However, there are areas where the A1 did get stuck underneath, even though one of its features is apparently height detection. Usually this has occurred once or twice and it rarely gets caught underneath the same furniture again. With its wide, fast spinning front facing brush, its high 4000 PA suction power, and its ability to mop and vacuum the floor without contaminating the water that's stored on board the vacuum. It gives me a great level of assurance that the vacuum will be more sanitary than most other robot vacuums that are out there, which most of them have to return to their dock to self-clean, share the same cleaning water, or literally just drag a moist pad around the floor. As robot mops go, the SmartMy A1 is one of the best that I've tried. So if you can look past its bulky size and hope that its maker continues to improve on its software with better route planning and path intelligence, then I'm sure the A1 will serve you well around your home. If you'd like to check out another great robot vacuum, head over to my video here and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching this far into the video. And if you have, please leave me a like and post any questions you might have in the comments down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.